It's 1818, a picturesque city known as Trier in what's today's western Germany, at the time known as the Kingdom of Prussia. While not known as a hotbed of radicalism, it provided a backdrop for the early life of Karl Marx, a man who would later become one of history's most influential revolutionaries and inspired some of humanity's most controversial figures. His upbringing was marked by contrasting influences. His father, a lawyer with some liberal leanings, provided access to education and enlightenment ideas. However, the surrounding Prussian society was ruled by a conservative monarchy, which likely instilled in Karl a sense of injustice and a desire for reform. The ghost of the French Revolution, a specter of liberty and equality, kindled the flames of his imagination. He zealously absorbed the essence of this transformative period, fueling his yearning for a world free from tyranny. In 1835, Karl began his metamorphosis from a scholar to a revolutionary, leaving the comforts of Trier for the trials of university, all the while carrying a burning resolve to tackle societal injustices. At 18, his education took a turn from law for an indulgent session of philosophy and history at Bonn. The seeds of revolution planted by Hegel, Feuerbach, and the other romantics sprung in his mind. His heated discourse and activities at Poets Club revealed the very first glimpses of his disregard for societal norms. With a move to Berlin in 1836, Karl found himself amidst a whirlpool of revolutionary ideas. Here, the guidance of Bruno Bauer refined the fiery revolution brewing within Karl and shaped his profound thoughts about reality. The lessons learned in Berlin, a city teeming with life, gave Karl a chance to understand capitalism through the lens of struggle. The adversity that befell him crafted Marx's critique of the capitalist system and thereafter kindled a burning resolve to champion the cause of the underprivileged. It's now 1843. Karl found himself amidst Paris's revolutionary milieu, teeming with proletarian fervor and socialist hope. Unshackled from Prussia's restraints, he immersed himself in a city pulsating with radical vibes. Shunning academia's ivory towers, Karl connected with tangible struggles of labor class, plunging into the turbulent realm of Parisian politics. The radical city opened him to real-world sufferings and fueled his fight against capitalism. While he engaged with the working-class groups in Paris, his primary focus was on theoretical and political discussions with other intellectuals. However, the city's vibrant atmosphere and exposure to the harsh realities faced by many workers undoubtedly influenced his evolving critique of capitalism and his commitment to social justice. Romance met revolution in Marx's life through Jenny von Westphalen. The daughter of a civil servant, she became his mirror, reflecting his fiery passions, taking on roles ranging from a lover to a critic, thereby fueling the revolutionary fire. He took refuge in London's industrialized chaos, where the embers of class dissent smoldered beneath the city's expansive progress. Here, his intellectual attention pivoted from the philosophical to the economic analysis of capitalism. Karl dove deep into economic history, dissecting it with the sharp precision of a surgeon. The British Museum served as a sanctum, wherein the whispers of Adam Smith and David Ricardo echoed through the intellectual corridors of his mind. Finding resonance in Feuerbach's flesh-and-blood materialism, which pierced the airy veil of idealism, Class struggle became his prism to understand society as a machinery driven by material forces. Karl proposed that capitalism's grip deprived workers of their labor, their creations, and even their humanity. This harsh diagnosis led him to conceive class war as the key to societal change. A revolutionary doctrine emerges. Along with Friedrich Engels, Karl forged the Communist Manifesto, a rallying cry for global proletariat. His fiery brilliance proposed the toppling of private property and class divisions. Marx's scrutiny didn't stop at this manifesto. His intellectual journey demanded a deeper confrontation with capitalism. Thus, the magnum opus, Das Kapital, took shape, outlining the historical evolution and inherent contradictions of capitalism. It prophesied the system's inevitable demise. A backdrop of turmoil and hardship during Marx's exile served as ground zero for Jenny's unwavering support. As his pillar of strength through tribulation, she was more than just an observer. She bore the brunt of their shared struggles. In the throes of London, a city ruthless to outsiders like himself, he was pushed to the abyss of poverty. Hope rendered by Jenny's resourcefulness gave him resilience. 
Carl was bound in the chains of state censorship. His rebellious vigor attracted the authoritarian eye, imposing a banishment that scarred his soul and health. 1848 was a year of seismic shifts across Europe, as the continent found itself engulfed in a wave of revolutions. From Paris to Berlin, Vienna to Prague, the established order was shaken to its core as people from various walks of life rose up to demand change. While the causes of these uprisings were complex and varied, a common thread running through them was a deep dissatisfaction with the status quo. Economic hardship, political repression, and rising nationalist sentiments fueled a yearning for a better and more just society. Amidst this tumultuous backdrop, he took to engaging in fervent political journalism and behind-the-scenes activism, shaping the intellectual discourse of revolution and sowing the seeds for future ideological battles. The revolutions of 1848 were ultimately met with mixed success. Some countries, like France, saw the establishment of short-lived republics, while others, like Germany, failed to achieve their goals of democratic reform. Despite the varying outcomes, these uprisings left an indelible mark on European history, demonstrating the power of popular mobilization and the yearning for a more just society. The year 1867 witnessed a forceful disruption of the economic narrative. Das Kapital arrived on the scene, an explosion that crumbled the foundations of the capitalist economy. The forces of capitalism and labor were laid bare. Karl revealed the extraction of surplus value from every possible labor, the very cornerstone of capitalist accumulation. Das Kapital presented a comprehensive critique of the social and political realm. It was more than an economic thesis. It was a revolutionary call transforming economic discourse into a plea for equity. Another key aspect in his rise as a cornerstone of revolution was the establishment of the International Working Men's Association. Karl found himself in the heart of radicalism, uniting labor groups under the shared goal of proletariat emancipation. The association reflected the impact of the whispers of liberation among the workers. Even as the organization folded, its legacy lived on in underground socialist movements and radical thought. As age wreaked havoc on Marx's health, his revolutionary spirit couldn't be dimmed. He refined his theories, inciting discourse on crucial issues like the Paris Commune or the Irish Land League. After Marx's passing, his ideas spread like wildfire. Russia, under Lenin, and China, under Mao, saw his ideological seeds sprouting into communist rule. While the regime promised utopia, they unleashed a nightmare, distorting his original vision into a weapon of mass destruction. Authoritarian regimes that used his theories had unimaginable human costs associated. Stalin's authoritarian rule and Mao's cultural revolution resulted in the death of millions, laying bare the grotesque reality of power misuse. His legacy demands nuanced understanding. Nullifying his reputation for the atrocities committed in his name mustn't rob him of the credit for speaking up about social injustices prevalent in his time. As we march into a new age, memories of desolation, famine, and violent revolutions rooted in Marxism's ideas continue to cast long, eerie shadows. It remains our duty, however, to constantly question, probe, and debate the glaring crimes and challenges Marxism as an ideology ended up causing. Challenges seen in full forces in this video, right here.